Hello, Aries, getting ready to do your reading. So let's see what is going on for you, Aries. Sun and rising and Venus. All right. Spiritual growth. Underneath the deck is miracles. So there could be something coming in for you. You may be in a period of growth though right now. Let's see. What is going on for Aries? Christian, yeah, you have something that is coming toward you that you've been manifesting for a while now. It could be money because abundance is under the deck. But, um, okay, let me do one more for you because I kind of feel like the card of patience or something like that is going to show up. But something's coming toward you that you've been manifesting. Now, you're manifesting dreams. Okay, it does say trust. All right, so there's nothing here about patience. I just feel like when it says growth, that maybe you are in a period of having to wait but I don't want to say that without it confirming. So let me see. Because you may have already been going through this period. Past life love. Your soul remembers intense connection. Okay. Someone's in denial. So there could be a couple things going on here for you. You may be waiting for a past life love. Someone who you do have a very strong connection with. One of you the, or this person could be in denial of this. This may be what you're trying to manifest. Others of you with abundance being under the other deck. You may be manifesting a job, um, more money in some way. Or again, abundance doesn't have to be money. It could be like an, you want a happy home full of love. Maybe some of you want to get married, have kids. Or you want to live somewhere where you um, just feel very fulfilled. What is going on for Aries? Yeah. Okay, star card. Yeah, I have to. Um, I'm going to pull the camera back just a touch because there we go. I'm going to move this. Someone could be reaching out with the Eight of Wands or traveling to see you, especially like if like summer's coming up for some of you. Some people may be getting time off. Um, interesting, the Seven of Swords is in a hidden position. Can be the challenge. Two of Cups is here, but the outcome is the Star card. So it could be an Aquarius. Could be something that's happening very fast. Let's see. What is this Knight of Swords energy and Tower, the King of Coins, and the Knight of Coins? So there is someone who's going through some sort of maybe, um, maybe this person's going through some spiritual growth or something like that. But they could be looking back at the past. So I feel like there's a connection here with you and someone who this person has been denying it or they haven't been communicating with you. They're going through something. Now the Tower could be a move or it could be like maybe a soul reawakening or you know something like that for this person possibly has a, a teenager doesn't have to be knight of coins can mean looking back to me or possibly a child but probably it's them all of a sudden reaching out suddenly so we have the eight of wands here also what is this eight of wands <clears throat> pardon me yeah this is that denial card this is right here like blocking someone's blo i'm sorry my goodness someone is blocking like i'm not sad but like he's like saying i'm not sad i'm not gonna look at that um so someone could be having a sort of a breakdown or breakthrough and be expressing how they're feeling finally because look at what's under the deck the king of swords so it could be someone who's act, who acts very you know stoic they have no feelings this doesn't bother them when really it does and that may be why it's in the challenged position the hidden position someone is hiding something or hiding feelings so what is this two of cups yeah something's changing here in the past this person Okay, I feel like this person, there's deep love for you with the two of cups, but this three of cups and the six of coin, a lot of times it's like someone who's partying a lot and buying drinks for other people, um, you know, doing everything but reaching out to you. They're not moving forward, but something is changing with the three of coins here. They could also be separated because sometimes the three of cups is a third party situation where the three of coins is there may still be another person involved, but they're not with them. They're not sleeping with them. So like it's they have separated or left the other person if they're married to him going back to the tower the tower can mean a major breakup um you know the beginning of a divorce so keep that in mind too for some of you this is why this person hasn't been reaching out they're in another relationship that could be ending they could also be finally like stepping up like someone who's been in an unhappy relationship with someone for a long time they just put up with it finally they're saying you know enough's enough i'm done so what is the seven of swords that's in the hidden position justice the devil and the fool yeah let me do two, two of swords and the ten of coins. The six of cups. See, I feel like this is a very 
abundant relationship with the Ten of Points. I feel like this is something that the two of you being together could maybe have like your dream home. Uh, you could, um, again, I'm seeing like a very lush garden. I'm seeing something with a lot of trees and fruit trees. So it means like the abundance, like what I'm seeing here. It could mean for you a lot of travel together. Others of you, maybe you do want to have kids together or you have kids already. You guys want to blend your families. I mean, I just see like a lot of good times together in the future if you guys were to get together. I see this person, again, this is a denying card that we saw. This person was in a relationship, but... I'm seeing them finally, you know, break free from that and looking for something long term with you. It's like they've been denying that the two of you could have a really nice life together, basically in a nutshell. Okay. Um, what is this star card in the outcome? Ace of coin, the ace of cups, the page of wands. Okay. Eight of wands. So you have a clear message here that someone's reaching out who wants a commitment, wants new love, maybe a fire sign, or this is just good news, maybe Aquarius, but yeah, this is coming in. So it's very, it needs to be one more for the Page of Wands. What else can you tell us? Someone is worried about this. Again, this person, again, could be very hard to read. It could be an Aquarius or an air sign, but I can see this person carries a lot of fear or hesitation about this connection. Can you tell us a little bit more why? Why are they so nervous? Oh, maybe they're afraid to be happy. Some people, that's just how they are. They feel like they have to go through life being unhappy. Maybe it was started in childhood and then it, they just can't fathom being like really happy or they're afraid happiness doesn't last. So why even bother? But maybe this person's just been in such like a dark situation for so long that they're just fed up and they're just done. They want to break free because the fool's like he's breaking free from this um, devil energy. Somebody may, okay, look at all these blindfolds. So like this person maybe hasn't seen the past or like they haven't woken up and they don't realize what they've been through. Or maybe someone has, I don't want to say controlling them because that sounds, I mean, for a grown person to be controlled, but it's like they have allowed themselves. Let's say it that way. They have allowed themselves to be controlled by another person, situation, family, business, you know, all that. So someone's like fed up. Okay. Let me see. Let me see what, um, what can you tell us about this relationship connection reading? But this person wants to move on. And what else? You know, that was under the deck engagement ring. So there could be some sort of commitment between the two of you. Because there's a lot of love here. One more, please. And hammer. Let me do one more for the hammer. Because I know that can mean rebuilding, but can also mean sabotage. Let me see with this person. Not enough butterflies okay so you may be hesitating also though when you hear from this person because palm trees under the deck this person may have not provided a lot of stability in the past for you you may feel very unsure about this person so hearing this again you might be like well you know what you've done this before you said this before um that's not good enough you're going to find something else out so it could be that maybe this person has divorced maybe this person is very financially stable this time around because it does see relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child and growth you may fear, because like, it does say lack of confidence. And I got this person does lack confidence here, not enough. And they want to work on this. They want to work on it, but they lack the confidence. But this can grow. This can change. So I guess if you know they lack confidence, they may tell you. I don't know if this person's actually going to tell you. But by you knowing that, at least maybe you can help the situation along. I think this person is going to be easier, though, to get along with. I kind of feel like... Maybe they've been stripped of something also. They don't have that family business anymore. So at the same time, it's kind of like a good thing. I feel like they're easier to get along with. They might not have as much money as they used to, but I don't get that that's going to bother you. There's a, something good about that. Or it could be the opposite. They have a lot more money this time around. But um, let me see what this person would also say to you. What would this person say to Aries? And both of these go down to a 10, 37 and 46. So you're definitely at the end of a cycle waiting for this person. And abundance is 38, so that's 11. 11, yeah. Okay. You're always in my dreams. Shame on me. I put others before you soon after. I realized they were of no value to me. So embarrassed I acted foolish and don't know how to tell you how sorry I am. And also, each day I think about how it would be like if we were together. One day I will be ready to surrender. 
Okay, I feel like they already have her there. They're in the process here whenever I see that card. So, what does spirit want you to know in closing? What is universe? Oh, that's not the deck I want. I don't want this deck. What does universe want you to know in closing? Aries, what does Aries need to know in closing, spirit? <clears throat> Two of Cups. Okay, so there is a lot of love here in the Six of Swords. So something is definitely moving forward in this connection. Maybe slowly, but it is moving. And this is that a boat card right here to me. It is the Six of Swords. So I'm going to leave it there, Aries. Have a great week.